what happened to the blue whales on Earth now. Blue whales, once the giants of the ocean, are now teetering on the brink of extinction. But how did we reach this point? Whaling was such a profitable business that more than 340,000 blue whales were killed in the first half of the 20th century. This relentless hunting decimated their numbers, pushing them towards the edge of extinction. But hunting isn't the only threat. Today, blue whales face dangers from climate change, ship strikes, and pollution. The ocean, once their safe haven, has become a perilous place. As the ocean warms and becomes more polluted, blue whales are finding it harder to survive. Their food sources are diminishing and their habitats are being destroyed. But why do humans kill blue whales? Historically, their blubber renders turn into a waxy substance called whale oil. Whale oil was a primary ingredient in soap, margarine, and oil-burning lamps. Today, some indigenous Arctic communities, such as the Inuit, still harvest blubber and render it for use in traditional whale oil lamps. Blubber was the basis of the whaling industry, one of the most lucrative businesses of the 18th and 19th centuries. Millions of whales were hunted throughout the Atlantic, Pacific, and Arctic oceans in sophisticated whaling factory ships. Many ancient cultures of the Arctic relied on blubber as a staple part of their diet. Muktuk, for example, is a traditional food consumed by the Eskimo and Inuit people, native to the U.S. state of Alaska and the Canadian Arctic. Baleen was used in a variety of 19th century products. Buggy whips, carriage springs, corset stays, fishing rods, hoops for women's skirts, umbrella ribs, and many other applications where nowadays plastic or springy steel would be used. Baleen comes from the large plates that many whales use to filter small food organisms from the sea. Some countries, such as Japan and Norway, continue to harvest whale blubber for food. But do we really need to use products made from whales today? The truth is, we don't need to kill blue whales for our daily lives. The whaling industry dwindled as petroleum and natural gas replaced whale oil as a major fuel source. Vegetable oils replaced whale oil in margarine and soaps. Environmental laws and hunting limits have slowly allowed whale populations to recover. Environmental groups have expressed concern about the high concentration of PCBs in the blubber. Today, the process of biomagnification has made consumption of muktuk and other whale meat a possible health risk. Biomagnification is the process in which the concentration of a substance increases as it passes up the food chain. High concentrations of PCBs, chemicals that can cause cancer and other toxins, have been detected in blubber. The concentrations may be natural, or it may be augmented by bioaccumulation of marine pollution. Modern technology and sustainable practices offer alternatives that don't involve harming these magnificent creatures. Arctic whaling represented the last hurrah of the American industry. As the demand for baleen diminished, the industry was doomed. The last American vessel to use whale boats, the motor ship Patterson, made final port in San Francisco in 1928. So, what can we do to protect blue whales? We can enforce stricter regulations on ship speeds and routes to prevent collisions, reduce plastic use to decrease ocean pollution, and support marine protected areas to ensure safe habitats for these giants. We, as humans, it's the time to extend hands to help. By reforesting coastal areas, reducing runoff pollution and supporting sustainable practices, 
we can create a healthier ocean for blue whales and all marine life. What actions will you take to ensure these magnificent creatures continue to thrive on Earth? The journey to save them begins with us. Thank you for joining us on this journey to help blue whales and our beautiful Earth. If you enjoyed this journey, please like, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Your curiosity fuels our exploration. Until next time, keep looking up and diving deep.